What's up all my nocturnal hamsters and friends and family and anybody else who has come to the channel to hang out with me. Welcome back to another video playthrough of Depart. And we're on episode two. Kick back and relax because this is going to be, hopefully, I, I'm going to assume another hour and a half episode, I don't know. But kick back and let's do this, shall we? Episode two. The Calvary. She sent the Navy and the Marines. God bless you, Ellie. I may or may not have had a couple beers before I started to record this. Don't tell anyone. I'm waiting for a moment to address, to address you guys. Engine running. Be ready to get us out of here. Roger. All right. So I learned between the last episode and this episode, as the first and the second one, that Jessica Harding obviously is not Sarah Harding. Um, Jessica Harding is Sarah's half sister, and Sarah was jealous um, that Jessica got to come to the island. And she did. Different, different, uh, bombs. Little piece of info for you. Oscar, it's Garza. But dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. Wait, do you not see the, the things on his arms? I thought I saw claw marks on it. That's one big footprint. <laughs> 
Man, those are some serious trank darts. Okay, we're we playing this. Uh, are you seeing this crap? What do you make of this? I don't know yet. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Oscar, it's Garza. The dinosaurs didn't take him down. It looks like he was shot to death. By who? Don't know. Park security? Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Can I can I move? Yeah, I can. I thought it was gonna tell me that I needed to move somewhere else. There's shell casings everywhere, but not many strike marks from hostile fire. And that tells you. Lots of small dino tracks. I don't see any around. <laughs> Billy, get up here. But I don't, I don't know what. Get away from me, damn it! Get away! What the hell? Vargas. Vargas. What the hell did all that? It's a lot of blood. Decaf, we're going in. Watch your ass out there. Watch your six. Trust no one. So, so I can't trust you then. That's what that's what I got from that. Oh, what the hell happened to you guys? It's not my fault. We couldn't see them. Only their eyes. That's not compass. Come on out now, Vargas. You know that that was a compi. That was that was not. <laughs> you to get back. I got this. I'll see if there's another way around. Now this acting is so true. Get out of the light. They'll see you. I don't know what I was supposed to be doing there. Stand down. That's an order. You're sitting ducks here on the beach. You got some shelter. What do you think you're doing, Vargas? What is he doing? I found some security monitors. I can use the security cams to spot him. Talk to me, Yoder. Where is he? I can't see Vargas. See if you can get him to move. I'll get him. Okay. Fire! I need your eyes, Yoder. I can't see Vargas. It's too dark. Oh, whatever. Whatever. I hit that shit. Where are you? In the trees? Show yourself! What the hell? Yoder, I'm blind out here. Check the monitor. Can you see anything? Right side, behind the rock. Thing. Where's Marcus? He's hiding. See if you can get him to move. Calculated. Where's my gun? <laughs> We're under attack. Don't be back. Get away from me, damn it. Oh. Who are you? Get away from me. Oscar! Stand down. Holy. What the hell happened to him? 
Hey, hey, Vargas, look at me. Um. What the hell happened to you guys? They're everywhere. Even now, watching us. We gotta. We gotta. Oscar, we gotta find out what happened to Vargas. Get him some help. Forget it. He's lost. Security office. Maybe there's something on the tapes. Hang in there, Vargas. Vargas way. <laughs> hey, there's another security monitor over there. See if we can find anything on the videotapes. We should go. Ah, we can't just leave him like that, man. If we can find out what happened, maybe we can help him. Yeah, does that make sense? Huh. Well, I guess this camera's been down for a while. All right, Bravo team couldn't have gotten here more than 30 minutes ago. Let's see what we got. Nothing. Um. Oh, there you go. There, see? What is that? Don't know. Take a look at this. Who the hell is that? I'm guessing those are the hardings. So that woman just ran off with our paycheck. <laughs> Get that engine started, we're lifting off. Yes, sir. <laughs> hmm. Please, listen to me. Whoever you are, you have to take us back to the visitor center. You have no idea what you're getting into out here. I know my way. I just need you to keep us safe from these... Creatures. Oh, really? How am I supposed to do that? Electric fences are down, dinosaurs have free run of the island. None of us are safe here. Do you understand that? This is InGen Rescue Team Alpha trying to reach Dr. Jerry Harding. Obviously, the visitor center was compromised. If you're still out there, we're trying to... Dad, if there's a rescue team coming, maybe we should try to leave a trail for them or something. Jess, that's enough. If we want to keep out of the way of dangerous predators, I'm going to need to know where we're headed. Norte. North? To the coast? What for? Don't worry about it. They're on an island. So any direction you go is going to lead to the coast. Technically, right? Ugh. You're hurt. Let me help Say you. the beach? Yeah, help me! Something. We're going to rest here for a minute. If we're stopping, I'll need to make a fire. It'll keep the dinosaurs away. Fine. <laughs> Stay where I can see you. And I'll need to see use the radio. Pain. Is there anything I can do? Stay close. Do 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 do. All right, let's see. Are these berries edible? I'm hungry. That plant is poisonous. A handful of those berries is enough to kill a grown man. Oh, they look delicious. Maybe just a couple wouldn't hurt me. Yes, they look 2D. <laughs> Dad, there are some fresh dino tracks here. They're small, like a chicken's. Uh, it's likely Compsognathus. I saw lots of them Obvious. while we were walking. It's relatively harmless. It's nothing to worry about. Yeah, tell that to the freaking dude in Lost World. Spoilers. Uh, let's see. I guess we could talk to her. Back off some, okay? You're kind of quiet, Dad. No, I'm trying to... Oh my gosh. You're kind of quiet, Dad. Okay, look, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the, um, the D-pad right now, and she's not moving or anything. Hey, Dad, there's some eggs over here. 
Any chance they could be dino eggs? Eggs? No. Remember, all the dinosaurs on the island are female? Still, just leave them alone. We have enough problems without an angry mama bird or lizard to deal with. Mm -mm -mm. That's a weird looking plant. Hey, don't wander off. Hey, Dad. Are these berries edible? Probably not. It's best to steer clear of anything we find out here. Okay. There we go. Now, see, that's now it let me do it. Don't get any ID. Don't be stupid. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Look, before we go any further, I want to know why you're here and what you plan to do with us. You'll be okay if you do what I tell you. That's great. Thank you. Do you have any family? None of your business. I just thought that if you could understand how... You love your daughter, don't you? Oh, uh, yes, of course. You'd do anything to make sure she grows up safe. Yeah, I would. Good. Then I know you'll do exactly as I say. And as long as you do that, I won't shoot her. I can tell by the way you talk to Jess. You, you have a daughter, don't you? Stop talking. Think of her, and you'll understand what I'm- I said shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I- You know nothing about me. We are not simpatico, comprende? You say another word, and I will shoot you and leave you for the scavengers. Please, just calm down. But I then... didn't mean anything by it. Just shut up. Okay, okay, whoa. I thought I I she needed I him. Don't hurt us, just don't hurt us. When she's saying that she needed him. Normally I work with animals, but I am very well survive. trained in first aid. I, I'd like to go ahead and take a look at your wound again, if you'll let me. I'm fine. Look, you're going to need it cleaned and dressed again to avoid infection. If you bring us back to the visitor center, I can get a hold of some antibiotics for you. You, girl. Yeah? Some of these trees have fruits that look like tiny blueberries. Bring some to me. Uh, okay. It's Jess, by the way. What? Uh, Jess. My name's Jess. Okay, Jess, bring me the berries. They're good medicine. Uh, so the ones on the right, let's see, can I switch? Can I switch back to her now? There we go. Uh, I think it was... Are these the berries you need? See, bring them Ah, here. yes. It wasn't it the red ones. Daylight. Come on, girl. I need those berries. And then I think the other plant Here, did not have uh, berries on it. Nima. Gracias. De nada. Um, de nada. She's a good kid. I know. Hmm. Do it. Okay, now that she's back, I think we need him do some talking whatever it is you think about Ingen, you're the one forcing us through the jungle at gunpoint am I supposed to feel sorry for you you people come down here and think you can do anything you want because you have the money to bribe a few politicians don't push me okay all right you're you're right I just I shouldn't have said anything okay I'm just I'm trying to understand you don't need to understand you just keep doing as I say. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention oh. it again. Please. Bro, QTE. Hey, um, I, I drank like four diet sodas earlier and I really have to pee, like, super bad. Go. Hurry. So... Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Identify yourself. Over. Hey, hi. Um, this is Jessica Harding. Me and my dad were supposed to have been rescued. There's this woman with a gun. I, I think she's taking us up north. Okay. Can you describe your location? Any buildings, roads, landmarks? Uh, landmarks. Uh, no, not really. Just regular jungle crap, like trees and dirt and stuff. Everything looks the same out here. 
Oh, but my dad built a fire? You might be able to see the smoke if- Yo! What do you think you're doing? Um, I'm just calling my boyfriend? It's stupido! Please, this is my fault. I don't want to kill you, but I will do it in a heartbeat if I have to, comprende? What I have to lose is too important. Let's go. We're getting out of here. What do you have to lose? Oh, but my dad built a fire. You might be able to see the smoke. Hello? What happened? Is that them? Is that the Hardings? Yeah, it was the girl. It didn't sound good down there. The girl said they were headed north. Let's head that way and see what we can find. I don't know, Yoder. Maybe that girl was in shock, you know? I read a study hey, Cap, once do me said... a favor and stop talking. Just head north. <laughs> Hang on to your butt. Uh -oh. This is it. See anything, Oscar? Looks familiar. How's that exactly? Before your time. Oh, is that a Vietnam joke? Oh, I think I see smoke. Got smoke. Smoke? Think they're trying to signal us? I thought we were dealing with a hostage situation. <laughs> what was that? Bird, head this way. Or the chopper? Why the hell would they do that? Hang on. Yeah. Like two seconds. Finally. Sorry, buddy. I had I'm gonna like have to two seconds to freaking land that shit. I'm pretty sure if they're spinning around like that, they would get dizzy and sick. Awesome. He caps out. Oscar? Can you land this at Uh. Landing pads are for amateurs. Okay, come on, girl. <laughs> Steady. Uh, good for a flight. We know you have a great many little, choices yeah. when flying through dinosaur-infested airspace, and we thank you for choosing Yoder Airways. Get to the chopper. Get down. Where are we? Out. Oh man. InGen's gonna be pissed when they get the bill for this. And yeah, then they should have gotten pterodactyl insurance. Pteranodon <laughs> insurance. Huh? Can you fix it? Uh, Wait. Yeah. Give me about a month. You got an hour. There's duct tape in the survival kit. How does he? I mean, I want to know how he knows the difference. I mean, I don't know. These jungles seem different. Different from what? All jungles kind of look the same to me. Hey, you remember the. Hey, maybe it wasn't Vietnam, maybe he's been here before. We'll be our survivors. Maybe. But we're still pretty far away from where you spotted the fire. And whatever it was, it's gone now. Let's move out. You don't know that for sure. Why is there smoke? Check it out. Where there's Close. smoke, Come on. there's fire. Hold up. Ah, it may not be safe. I know. That's what I have this for. Oh, this Yoda guy is pretty funny. Oscar, definitely signs of camp. The subjects were here. Just need to pick up their trail. Well... There's some berries, some blood... Bush, bush... And let's say that one. We got some fresh tracks here, Oscar. I'm guessing dinos. But no human footprints. Oh, oh boy. 
I'll bet that's not going to go over well with mom. We can't wait. Hi, mom. <laughs> They need a, uh... God damn, dude, he's strong. Did they do that shit? He's tough. Was winning. What is that thing? How should I know? Some kind of prehistoric dog or something. Did you see me though? I was all like, pow! And then, mm -mm. <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down, big guy. It's over. It's over. Let it go. Look at it. You won. It's not gonna hurt anyone now. Hey, thanks. Anyway, I looked everywhere. Couldn't find any sign of a trail. That way. Ah, that was not a good day. And day holes. You realize we're headed straight towards a cliff, don't you? There's no way down from here. We're gonna have to find another way around, which will take us, I don't know, at least a half a day. There's an old goat path that will take us down. like this dad um i didn't know i didn't know saving it for next time the rides aren't ready well none of the rides are ready for the public i i didn't want to get your hopes up that path was ancient carved into the stone it's been here before it survived storms sure. earthquakes look it's it's too late to go around and it's too dangerous to go back the way we came just use the radio. Contact the rescue team. It is our best chance of survival. Down there. We can ride this down contraption there. to get us down to that exit. We're gonna ride it? That lever. It looks like it would set the tracks to stop at that exit. Yes, but that's the emergency lever. Besides, it's obviously not ready for people to use. Well, it looks like the only way. You'll find us a safe way down, or I'll throw you down. If I can get the power on, I might be able to set the, the ride to maintenance mode from up here. These What's threats mode? are just so... It'll switch the tracks. Same as the emergency lever. Meh. Basically, it lets the employees use the tracks for work and repairs instead of for fun. But I don't see any cars on the main track, Dad. Get the power on. We're still going? Yeah. It's getting dark. We cannot go back the way we came. And it sounds like the dinosaurs are getting ready to hunt. Are they... Hunting us? Well, there's still a good ways off, but we shouldn't stick around here for long. Listen, if we're gonna make it to the coast, we are gonna have to work together to make it there alive. Understood? Yes, sir. You. Come with me. We're gonna get some cars on the track. Sir. Ma'am. There. Stand by the lever. You're gonna help me get the cars on the track. Hey, Dad. What are these cars for? We don't have any seats. My guess is those are utility carts. We gotta get them off the track and load in some cars we can actually sit in. Can I do it now? I thought I had to, um... That's how they pick cars. So I don't have to do that, okay. So we need to do this again. Her, she hurt. Move the scaffolding. How am I supposed to do that? It's like way too heavy. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't know. There we go. Now, where are you going, dude? Judging by the layout of this place, I'd say the power station must be over in that area. Stay there. You go. Okay, so, like, what am I looking for? Power That's station. Big. Look for doors. It's the big thing right over there. <laughs>
Yeah, that. Dad, I found doors. Is this the power thingy? That looks like it. Open them up and throw the main switch. Yeah, no, you're gonna need to use this rock. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry up over there. Okay, sorry. Okay. The doors are locked. Well, I don't have a key. That's cool. I'll just bust the windows. Yeah, which is what I told you to do first, but no. We needed to have that useless interaction. This should get me into those doors. Awesome! Okay, now... Hey, looks like the crane is functional. Good. Now do something useful with it. Like this. And down. And we switch. Yes, over here. Okay, I'm no, coming. No, okay, this these things are so obnoxious. The controls are did you use the D-pad? The D-pad to pick where you want to move to. And sometimes it isn't very clear. Jess, be careful. What are you where doing you with that Where are you trying to go? We're on dino hey, fishing. Maybe we could use the hook to loosen some rocks. Okay, but um, why would we do that? No, I know, I said... I but it'd be hella cool. I said dino fishing. Oh, are you kidding? Okay, I thought I took it away. You got a better plan for that hook this time? Yeah, dino fishing. Yeah, dino fishing. What do you think? I think you've lost your mind. You got a better plan for that hook this time? You got something better to say? I've got a plan. You're gonna love this. Okay, Dad, your turn. Everyone, get back. Awesome. Yeah, just that. Just that happens. Okay, that's one. And da da. There we go. And that's the. Welcome to the Bone Shaker! Looks like we have power. Oh, cool. Okay, come on back. Now I need to do it. What's that? I don't know. Predators. They're still too far away for me to tell which ones, thank goodness. Not a T-Rex, though, right? Definitely not a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, because you'd hear that sound for a mile away. Going. And then I need to... Okay, these these are the main controls for the you see that's not see I pushed I pushed the right mode from here and it sent him the right hey what about this instead of going can you to use her. it for anything attach it to the scaffolding we can use the crane to lift it off the tracks stand back Jess Yeah, because that was. Ugh. This game. Tell you. Okay. Uh, I need you to spin it. Go. I'm trying to remember. There's no open slot to move the car into. Go. It works. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, I need you to... I got it. I got it. And then we put the three. 
and the two. And then we spin it. And then we put this one back in there. And we spin it again. And again. And we get our cars. Yeah, buddy. There we go. Nicely done. I think that's right. Hey, the cars are all on the loading track. Now it's up to you. What are you gonna do if the rescue team shows up? What? I mean, they probably heard what? that noise. Let's not worry about the rescue team right now. Okay, so now I need him to do maintenance mode. Well, that ought to do it. The ride should stop and let us out at the maintenance exit instead of doing the normal loop. Okay, so now let's on the cars. Not what I said. That's not what I said either. It's all set. Okay, the cars are properly aligned on the track. We should be ready to start. Jess, come here. So, what do I do to start? That's it. Since the ride is in maintenance mode, it should be safe. It won't go very fast. Come on. The sooner we get to the coast, the sooner this will all be over. Famous last words. Hang on. This is going to be a short trip. Will this thing go any faster? Uh, oh. Damn. Yeah, like that's gonna be the game. Pushing the button, you're meant to freaking assist it. They should like, they should make it difficult to do, but like they should make it possible. Um. Oh. 
It's okay, sweetheart. I've got you. I was like, am I stuck in a loop and I gotta start over? the risk. Thank you. You. So they both been here before. Now, we go for the ride. Please, don't say ride. <laughs> So what did you call those things that were chasing you? Hairy sauruses? Herrerasaurus from the Triassic era. Now that we've bred them, we can easily classify them as early theropod. Oh yeah, early theropod. That's exactly what I've been saying all these years. Right, Oscar? Where's Denny? Denny's dead. Decaf! Bump, 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 bump. You take the chopper. I'll check the perimeter. Bum, 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 bum. Stay put. No, eyes are on that one. How about we get the battery in first? You <laughs> like that's gonna hold her. Hate you 121, eh? I haven't seen one of these in a while. Boy, your pilot's a real slob. Keep your mouth shut. Don't even think about it. Danny's, and it's jammed. Wait, Danny's. That uh, looks like the same gun that they took. The same gun they took from her, says no. Oscar! I don't like what's going on here, man. Decaf's gun's jammed, there's a blood trail over there, and he never leaves his helmet on the ground. Never. never. Decaf is MIA. MIA. MIA? No way, man. He was supposed to stay with the chopper. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Yeah, that's cute to leave. Billy, you feel that? We've already lost Bravo team, and, 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 and... Billy! Time to go, dude. We are not leaving without decaf. I mean, we agree, right? Oh, man. I will not let you turn this into Nicaragua all over again. At ease! We've got a situation here. <laughs> Inside the chopper. Now. I've got no power. I'm on it. All right. Let's take the B1. I bet you never matter. It doesn't matter. They made you do all three. Did, did you see that, Oscar? I don't like when that happens. Pick up the pace. Try it now. That battery's not responding. Try another one. Look, we gotta get out of here. Now. I know. I'm working on it. Yeah, I bet you it doesn't matter which one you put in. It'll make you go through all three of them anyway, right? Did 
you imagine? Decaf. Decaf's dead. I like your tattoos. Why don't you tell her what your tattoos mean? What do they mean? Gravestones are for the people who die beside him. The skulls are for the people who die because of him. Tell us, where are you gonna put Decaf's tombstone? You running out of room. What did you say? Hey, come on. It's been a long day, and everyone's just a little tense. Let's keep it together, guys. I'm not afraid of you two. Me? Yeah, well, I'm more of a lover than a fighter. But Oscar... He gets upset. The last person who made ill-advised comments on Oscar's tattoos now eats his lunch through a straw sticking out of his neck. <laughs> Don't be fooled. You're in the company of killers. You're no safer than you were in the jungle. Company of Killers. Oh, that's got a nice ring to it. Yeah, it could be a hit single. Yeah, you're in the Company of Killers. Yeah! You need further proof that these men are crazy? This is what they do. They hurt people, and then they joke about it. Speaking of jokes, Oscar, tell the one about the priest, the stripper, and the bucket of frogs. <laughs> Pay attention! This is how men act when they lack the courage to face themselves. No, I like to look at myself. I mean, check out this gorgeous face. Love you, Who wouldn't? I'm surprised uh, you can see your head stuck up your... That's enough! You have to be so funny. What are you gonna do, kill me? You did that to me once already. You're crazy! I'm thinking of getting a butterfly tattoo. <laughs> on my I'm gonna carve the names of the people you killed into those skulls of yours. Ryan. Then we'll see hey. how proud you Listen, are. Listen, there's still more people who need our help. Whatever your issues are, you can work them out when we get to the mainland. And no, you cannot get a tattoo. I think I would let. So, like, uh, of course, now my mom's gonna see. It's so like she would let me get a tattoo if it was a black light tattoo. But like. I would have to approve Dr. the tattoo. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. That my kid would After get. we lost contact, I was well, worried if something If I were to let him get one before I like we have had quite a day, Doctor Sorkin. It would be very. I'd, it'd Systems be very difficult for him to get a tattoo. Damn park. Dinosaurs are running free. Bring the kids. But I wouldn't be opposed to it. Hey, don't worry, kid. We're fairly geographically cut off from the rest of the island out here. Nothing but herbivores around these parts. What's going on here? There were some complications. Who were you? Uh, I want to be a smart ass because such a smart ass, but like she seems like a stuck up lady. Just your friendly neighborhood rescue team at your service, man. I'm Billy Yoder, and this is. But look, let's just get this out of the way. I'm not going anywhere. This part of the island is pretty remote and is a long way from the predators. I'm perfectly safe, and I don't need saving. That's not a good idea, man. But, since you're here, what you can do is start loading the stacks of bureaucratic in-gen paperwork that's taking up valuable space. They were supposed to have sent for that stuff months ago. Listen, lady, we don't have time for this. You either get in the helicopter peacefully, or I will personally knock you out, put you in cuffs, and throw you in! You lay one hand on me, and I will have you so ass-deep in litigation that you'll be reading legal text for a decade. Wow. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, what you know mouthful. what? If it'll help us get off this island faster, we'll move your boxes. Where are they? Over there, at the loading dock. You are the lady. Hey, can I help? Yeah, I'm not sure having you help is such a good idea. Uh, she needs you to carry boxes and stuff, not bring fugitives to justice. 
Let me help. All right, all right. Are you always such a pain in the ass? Not always. Sometimes I'm a total bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Oh, yeah. Watch what happens if we don't find any food soon. I could probably get you some dino burgers. Seriously, I'm so turning the tables on the next dinosaur that tries to eat me. Mass made in heaven, both smart ass douchebags. Are you serious? What? I'm taking a break. <laughs> Good idea. Don't want you to strain yourself. So, what's the deal? Why didn't you tell Dr. Sarkin why it's so important to get off this island? It's gonna blow Trust up! Me. If we bully that one, she's gonna cause problems. So what do we do? Simple. Charmer. Look, all I need to do is get some information on this woman. Dig into her past. Find out what makes her tick. I'm sure if I say enough of the right things, she'll practically think getting off the island was her idea in the first place. Hey, can I bum one of those? Okay. What is she like 16? That way that I, I'm I'll probably overshooting it, but it shouldn't smoke. I'm not waving these things. They look like they weigh a ton. I think Dr. Sorkin said we're only supposed to move file boxes. Oh yeah. Well, good. So let's turn around and face so, the other way. Who feels like carrying these boxes back to the helicopter? Me neither. Ugh, smells like a barrel of wet dog hair. I know, right? I don't get why dinosaurs eat that stuff. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna go... Wait here. I'm gonna go talk to Sorkin. Uh, what should I do? You wanna help? See if you can dig up anything interesting on our friend Dr. Sorkin in those file boxes. Cool. What's the point of rebuilding? Hammond will kowtow to the major shareholders and cut every corner to recoup their investment as fast as possible. With no regard to the animal's welfare. If you're in some kind of trouble with Gun Gen, I might be able to help. I know people on the board of Jordan. Hey, you know who our prisoner is? Because no one else seems to. Well, I've never seen her on the island before. I don't recognize her as someone who works for InGen. But I don't know everyone, so it's possible. You know, Doc. I saw some bites like that on one of my men back at the visitor center. Mr. Call me Billy. Mr. Yoder, would you please tend to the InGen files like we discussed? Yes, ma'am. Um, no. Hey, Doc, you got a pharmacy inside? It's gonna be a long flight back if we don't get this prisoner either elated or sedated. She seems harmless enough now, and she's adequately secured. Are you afraid she's gonna beat you up? Well, I do have a history of women wanting to get their hands on me. I hate to interrupt, ma'am, but I really think we need to be going. I'm afraid I can't, Mr. Yoder. Someone needs to tend to the dinosaurs during this disaster. I'm sorry, Dr. Sorkin, but InGen wants all survivors back on the mainland as soon as possible. No exceptions. Why can't it wait? Listen, Hammond really made a mess of this place. You have no idea. There's no hiding his incompetence after this disaster. Huh. You have a point. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Is there anything I can say to convince you to come with us? If there is, you haven't said it yet. Right. Great, so let's... Do you know to treat her with a tranquilizer? Fortunately, this isn't the first time I've encountered this. The toxins are derived um, from the trying to, I'm trying to... I'm pushing the D-pad to go back, but it's not responding. This dinosaur hunts by biting its victim, then stalking it as... There it is. So, what'd you find out? Looks like Dr. Sorkin wanted to turn this place into a dinosaur preserve instead of an amusement park. And InGen didn't go for it, huh? Why would they? There's no money in that. So Dr. Sorkin has a weakness for preserving wildlife. Good to know. That's it. Then I'm gonna go back. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what was Hammond thinking? The man continually ignored the warnings of his own scientists over marketing people, shareholders, everyone. A disaster like this was inevitable. So that girl is your daughter? Yeah, my youngest, Jess. 14. Hard to believe. And... 
I'm interested in hearing more about her symptoms. Okay. Well, like I mentioned before. How's your smoke? Oh, that's a lot of rejected dino preserve proposals. Yep. You gotta hand it to the lady. She don't give up easy. Hey, Oscar. Was there any dirt on Dr. Sorkin in the mission briefing? If I'm gonna have to use the old Yoder charm, I'll need some intel. Big time protester in the 70s. Lots of animal rights crap. Handful of arrests for it. All of her engine related history is classified. Said to expect her to be a pain in the ass. It said that? Between the lines. If you want to tag along with us, that's cool. Just give Oscar his space. He doesn't do very good with kids, or adults, or animals. Come to think of it, he doesn't do very good with anybody. Just stay out of his way. Are you gonna do any work around here? What are we, union now? <laughs> How the hell does Dr. Sorkin think we're gonna load all this crap into the chopper? Don't know, but you better do it if you want to get on a good side. Uh, okay, well, thanks. You've been a great help. Okay, maybe we got something new this time. Use something with that protest. Do you know, he actually told me it doesn't matter that we have dinosaurs from the Jurassic and Triassic ages living together, as long as it's exciting. Moron. Well, decide. What about our patient? Dr. Sorkin. As I told you, I'm staying behind to watch after the animals. I'm sorry, but we really need to get you out of here. Why? Because... Dino Preserve? Dino Preserve. Wouldn't this place be better off as some kind of dinosaur preserve? I mean... It's kind of stupid to treat these creatures like they're in some kind of circus, right? Well, obviously that's true. If you knew how I spent my youth, you'd be surprised to find me working in a place like this. Did I already say that? Someone needs to speak to the board about protecting these dinosaurs. You believe in animal rights, don't you? Wouldn't you put your neck on the line for them? You're absolutely right, Mr. Yoder. But none of this matters if the board of directors... I'm not supposed to say this, but... I heard the board is going to hold an emergency meeting about, you know, new leadership. If you were there, you could act as a witness to the events that took place here. They'd have to listen to you. That's true. I hate to admit it, Mr. Yoder, but perhaps you're right. And our orders also mention an assistant? David. Yes. I'm afraid David won't be coming back with us. He told him to stay away from the quarantine oh, Dr. Tents. Sorkin, I'm, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have some work in the lab that must be completed first. Dr. Harding, perhaps you and your daughter would like to assist me. I've been working on a cure for one of our dinosaurs' nastier genetic disorders. Oh? Which one? It's dietary. Right up your alley. So many references. Dr. Harding, we've done it. And what exactly have we done? Reverse the lysine contingency, of course. Wait, what? What's that? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. You cannot give that to the dinosaurs. They need to be contained. If any of them get off the island... Okay, listen. I've been working with the Parasaurs Behavioral Program for months now. If I go back to the mainland to fight for this place, they'll all be dead before I can get back. Along with all of my research. Parasaurs? Parasaurolophus. They're herbivores, generally say. Let me give the solution to them, to see if it even works. How many are we talking about? Why don't you come out with me? See how much progress we've made with them. Can we, Dad? Fine. We'll go. Cool. I'm glad to finally have you out here, Dr. Harding, despite the circumstances. We've been doing some very interesting work with our parasaurs, behavioral communication experiments. You've interpreted their calls. Some of them, and I plan to use that to get them out of the pen. Out? Well, I'm not going to treat their water with them still in there. How do we know there aren't any bad dinosaurs around? Well, believe it or not, the dinosaurs told me. 
See that one? She's the lookout. She'll stand guard while the others graze. If there were any predators in the vicinity, she'd be nervous and emitting a danger call. But she's not. She's calm. Jerry, you can activate the speakers from there. Jess and I will set the various parasaur sounds that play through them. Dad, it's okay. I mean, it's safe, right? The parasaurs will warn us of trouble before it gets close. Stay with Dr. Sorkin. You can really speak dinosaur? We've been doing behavioral tests using various parasaur calls, playing them through the speakers around the pen. We can't just shoo the animals out, but we should be able to manipulate them into moving using their own sounds. Cool. These speakers on the west side of the pen can be set to play a parasaur food call that will attract the hungry dinos. The speakers on the east control the mating sounds that will attract the more uh, amorous dinosaur. What about the big set of speakers in the middle of the pen? Ah, those emit the danger call. The parasaurs will instinctively move away from it. So basically, we can herd the dinosaurs out of this pen using the speakers and their sounds. All right, so we need to... Y and B. How do I turn on the speakers? I'll have to tell your dad to do it when we're ready. Wait, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. There we go. Yeah, so we want the... I did that wrong. Yeah, we want... Like this. So we want the mating to be on this side, and then the food on this side, and then we'll do the danger one in the middle. I think that's how we'll do it. Dr. Harding? Yeah? Uh, what is it? The West Food Speakers? I need you to activate the East Side Speakers, please. East Side. Okay. So, what happened to your assistant? Let's not talk about that right now. Did you work with him long? It doesn't matter. Oh. Listen, he was a wonderful young man. And I am sad. I really am. But if I let that stop my work, then all these animals will die too, trapped behind the walls that we built. You understand? Dr. Harding? Yeah? West side speakers, please. West side. So I heard you were like a hippie protester or something in the 70s. Where'd you hear that? From Yoder. The 70s were a tumultuous time. I fought for what I believed in. And sometimes it gets you arrested. You were arrested? And you still got a job as a, you know, scientist? Paleogeneticist. And yes, youth is the time to be reckless and test your boundaries. It's how you learn what's important to you. All right, now we can, uh... Dr. Harding? Yeah? Scare ones. Activate the danger speakers. <laughs> job, Jess. Finally! Go forth and multiply. <laughs> you'll be good at this. Maybe you'll be a behavioral scientist someday. Maybe I will. <laughs> ah, this is why she was elected to be the lookout. What's wrong with her foot? It's a broken toe. Feel free to have a look. I just have to do one more thing and then we can leave. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lysine. If the dinosaurs have a fighting chance, they'll need the solution to survive. I'm still not sure. Jerry, this is my life's work. These are basically my children. I'm not gonna let these creatures die because some bureaucrat can't stand losing control. They deserve their own lives. Just, we are alive. Dr. Sorkin? Laura. Um, Laura, what's lysine? InGen, Henry Wu, added a gene to the dinosaurs that makes them dependent on supplements of an amino acid called lysine. Without their weekly doses, they'll all die off. Don't tell my dad, but I got a D in chemistry. <sighs> then today should be very educational. The solution we were creating at the lab will reverse this scenario, allowing the animals to live out their natural lifespan. We just need to get it into the main water supply. Okay, that should be easy, right? This is a big responsibility, Jess. I can handle it, Dr. Sorkin. I mean, Laura. Okay, Jess, let's get started. I'm telling you, man, almost made me swear off Chinese food forever. Yeah, right. I've never seen you refuse an egg roll. Ever. I said almost. Besides, my date was hot. You remember? The girl with the blonde hair, uh, red scarf, uh, what, what was her name? I don't keep track. Oh, you remember her. She was the one that was wearing the... Hold on. You hear that? Go, go, go! Da, da. You win! Set the chopper down! No! You're putting Oscar's life in danger! He doesn't really like that! Jimmy! Oscar, get over here! I'll pull you in! Oh. I thought I was gonna fall already. Come on, man! That's it! Come on! You imagine more. the strain? That doesn't help at all right there. Tell that woman she's dead when I get in there. Come on, Oscar. Put those giant friggin' arms to work. Get in here. Oh, oh shit. Pull yourself up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh, look at that booty. Look at that booty. Uh, you're one stubborn son of a. Hey! Uh. Uh. What the hell? Not thinking that one through, were you? No problem. You got this. She's going out. We good? Uh, no, not so good. Is the water ready? Yep, lysine is now officially a part of this nutritionally balanced dino breakfast. Excellent. Now I just need to get this water into the main supply and we'll be done. Oop. That's it, Jess. We did it. <sighs> Jess, come up here. I want you to see this. This is how nature intended these animals to exist. Wow. With all the running away I've been doing, I haven't had time to really appreciate them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
a few good moves, huh? <laughs> you are lucky to be alive, He's like... Jerry. I've never seen anyone outrun a Velociraptor before. Where did they come from? What are they doing out here? Must have escaped from the quarantine pen somehow. Raptors are highly intelligent. They'll find a way up here if we give them enough time. Yes! It's Yoda! Is that what I think it is? It is. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, pause that there. Ooh, it's the raptors. Uh, so if you guys don't already know, I'm freaking scared to death of raptors. It's like, I just, I don't know. I know it's not real, but it's still kind of just like, you know. To, Ugh. All right. Well, perfect timing because I am definitely pretty tired. If you had noticed partway through that, I was definitely starting to like nod off, and that's my own fault for doing that. I apologize, but I felt like this episode there was a lot of story going on, a lot of like information being processed and, and explained to you so you can understand what's going on. And so I think it worked out for the better. But, um, yeah, we're only at like an hour, so that's good. And then maybe we'll see how the next ones go out. But if you guys like this video, or if you dislike this video, make sure to give me that like thumbs up or that thumbs down to let me know whichever way you approve or disapprove. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and to hit that button right next to it so that YouTube will notify you when I upload a new video. But until the next time, I will catch you guys later.